Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Saluki Mania. I'm SIU writer Todd Hefferman and with me is our sports editor Les Winkler. Uh, we are here to talk some football and maybe a little basketball. Uh, Salukis have a doubleheader on Saturday. They host Missouri State at uh, 2 p.m. and the basketball team, the men's basketball team, is hosting William Jewell in their last exhibition of the year at 7.05 at the arena. Uh, both of those will be on the Saluki Radio Network and we'll be following along on our uh, live scoring, but uh, football, football beat uh, Western Illinois last week on the road. They probably need to win their last four to make the playoffs. One down uh, with redshirt quarterback Ryan West. He looked pretty sharp. Uh, he got a gift in the first quarter, but they were able to take advantage, but I thought it was good for him. Uh, now he's probably playing the toughest team of the four, in my opinion, in Missouri State. They've won uh, three in a row. They play 3-4 defense, but they have a lot of seniors on that defense, and they return three interceptions for touchdowns against Indiana State, so that's a little intimidating for a quarterback to go into, I imagine. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of strange because I remember uh, maybe a month ago, uh, the, the big thing around going around the Missouri Valley Football Conference was when does Terry Allen get fired, mm -hmm. and now you're, now, and now, you're, now you're sitting there thinking, hey, this is a, this is a tough game again. So, you know, maybe all that, maybe all that uh, you know, fire the coach stuff that people always want to, Boil the tar and, and pick the feathers is maybe premature, but uh, this this is certainly I, I don't see where the Slukies have any any uh, margin for error left at all. If, if they want if they want to make the playoffs, you know it's possible maybe they could get in with one more loss. But picking up this win this week would be absolutely huge, and I, I think it was really a, a, a big win to, for for Ryan West to lead him to to a victory up at Western. And as mentioned previously. He had that extra week, the bye week, to, to prepare. Uh, Dale Lennon had that extra week to prepare uh, West. And, um, you know, it worked out for SIU. As you mentioned in your story, there were no style points awarded. But a win's a win at this time of year. And he got some help. He got some help from Malcolm Agnew in the running game. Uh, special teams Resume. came through for him, not only with 52-yard field goal uh, and another field goal. And Kenny was rock solid with the extra points. But they, they block an extra, a field goal that... Western's kicker had one field goal all year, so I was surprised to see him even try it from, from 22 yards out or, or 32 yards out. I think it was 22. And they block it, and they had three guys there. They could have blocked it with any of them really there. And Presme's waiting for Cameron to pick up the football. He keeps fumbling, so Presme runs past him and picks it up himself. But they, they need that right now. They need anything they can do to help the offense because Missouri State, suddenly they were giving up 30, 40 points. Now they're giving up about 21 or 14, and their offense is scoring between 28 and 35 right now. I'm more concerned with SIU's offense. I think their defense will be okay. Yeah, the offense is – anytime you anytime you switch quarterbacks, especially if you go to a redshirt freshman like they've had to do again this year, you're always concerned uh, that, um, you know, you, you don't want to get – you don't want to open up the playbook and put a lot of pressure on him. But at the same time, you can't be too conservative. So you have to find that fine line. And uh, I wasn't at the game last week. I did see the highlights packages. And uh, it looked like West made a lot of good throws early. And, you know, if, if you can – more than ever, the offensive line and the defense have to step up to just, just so that they can keep the uh, – keep the, uh, moving the chains by the run and, of course, keep, keep Missouri State off the, off the field. And, you know, as, as you mentioned with the special teams, it seems like in the last 15 years when SIU football's had its resurgence, special teams have had a big play in that. And um, uh, you, can't, you can't underestimate how big that touchdown was. And, and it was nice to see Presume stay on his feet the yeah. entire time, where last year where he went the 100, right, 100 right. yards, he kind of ran out of gas. So I was kind of watching, but it was a, it was a great play. Would you feel better about SIU's chances if they were on the road, Les? <laughs> you know that. Uh, no, I, I mean, you know, in, in all in all reality, you, you look at the who SIU has lost to at home, and those were, you know, obviously three of the toughest games of the year. So, um, you know, sometimes coaches will tell you that they like that road game because it has a chance they have a chance to get their team focused or whatever. But by this time of the year. You know, if you're relying on that, you know, it's it's too late for you anyway. So, win at home and, you know, get the fans involved and let's go with it. Good question, though. <laughs> they, I mean, they lose to Eastern Illinois double overtime. Eastern second in the country. They lose to Youngstown State by one point. Uh, missed an extra point in the first half. Came back to bite them, but they did not score in the second half. Youngstown State's in the top ten now. They're ninth in the country. 
North Dakota State, as we all know, is still number one. You know, shocker, number one, 17 wins in a row. They beat to Charleston, but is the stadium too nice? Is that is that why they can't win at home? They don't have an advantage nah, unless it's full. Nah, I, I I I don't I don't buy any of that. I mean, I read all this stuff about well, they got a new stadium, so they got to win. Yeah, I, that's that's garbage. But uh, you know, but it, you it was you know, it, well, you got to win at home. It's certainly nice, but you you know, if, if you're going to get down to blame it on the stadium, you need to be playing tiddlywinks or marbles or something like that because you know, the stadium's got nothing to do with it. Well, they, play football. <laughs> well, they will play football there this weekend and next weekend. They host Illinois State uh, next weekend for senior night, uh, and then they go to Indiana State. Indiana State is last in the league. Uh, that's that's looking like the easiest of the four games they have this this stretch with Western being the first one. So, we shall see. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. It's a must win for SIU. Even Terry Allen thinks that if they finish six and six, because the Valley is five or six points ahead of everybody else in the in the gridiron power index. He thinks he may have a shot at the playoffs, and he, he may have a point. Um, it's a stretch, though. But he, he's taking a playoff mentality, too. So hope to see you there. Should be a good good stadium, uh, good stadium feel. The weather shouldn't be too bad, uh, and the Salukis will need your support. So uh, hope to see you there. Thanks for joining us.